Hey guys, this is my second installment with Hallmark Signature. If you guys haven't checked out the first video yet, definitely check it out. I wanted to put a different spin on this one and it seems like you guys really like DIY. So I decided to do DIY accessories inspired by the cards and then style an outfit around each of those accessories. So yeah, we got lots of different things going on in this video. I'm really excited. What pretty much initiated the inspiration for this whole video was this card in particular. It has a gold Christmas tree necklace on it. How cute is that? This is something that actually really reminded me of my friend who has worn all different kinds of necklaces. This is something that I would totally give to her. I've given her necklaces as gifts in the past. So I probably would like write something kind of silly and witty in there about that. But I also recalled, when I saw this card, I also recalled how she had worn a choker like not too long ago and I loved it. I thought it looked so good. It really pulled her look together. So that's where it got me thinking I need to DIY some chokers. I've been meaning to. I think they're really cute and fun. So that's what pretty much started it all. But we have three different DIYs so let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh and yes I did chop off the hair so my hair length is going to be longer in what you're about to see but I'm the same person. I promise. <laughs> Let's start with the chokers. I made two that I thought would pair well with this tree necklace. What you're going to need is some type of cord. I'm using wax cord, lobster clasps, jump rings, beads or charms, any pendant of your choice if you want, and pliers. I didn't have pliers so I have a wire cutter and tweezers on hand, and a pair of scissors. So first you're just going to roughly measure the cord around your neck and have some excess so that it's easier to work with. And then you're just going to put your beads or charm or pendant on there. Totally customizable. I wanted to keep this very like dainty and simple. So I just put some tiny gold beads on there. And then you're just gonna grab a jump ring and tie a knot. Go ahead and double knot that so it's extra secure. And then with the lobster clasp, you're gonna do the same thing, but I went ahead and just kind of put it around my neck again so that it's gonna fit the way I want it. And then I double knotted that. Trim off the excess. And this is optional, but if you want to be able to adjust how your choker fits, you can attach a chain extender on there. I think this is a good idea, especially if you are going to gift this to somebody. So I actually just found this one off of an old necklace, but you can also attach a bunch of jump rings together, and that'll work the same way. And we are complete with our first choker. Now onto the next one. I'm going to use the first choker as a guide size-wise, and we're going to be creating a choker that's kind of similar to the tattoo style choker. I'm just going to loop a jump ring through. Make sure you have a lot of cording because we are going to be doing a lot of looping. And then just go ahead and tie your cord around the jump ring. Tape it down so that it's easier to work with. So what you're going to do is take the left side cord, put it under the right side, and then loop it over. And you're going to be creating these tiny little loops. It's kind of like you're about to create a knot, but instead of going all the way, you're just letting a tiny loop stay there instead. And then you're going to put a bead in between each. So I'm just slipping a bead through. I'm going to do the same exact motion. You could alternate the motion if you want this to look more intricate, but I decided to keep it very simple. And if you want this to be more like the stretchy tattoo type of cording, definitely get that stretchy cord instead of what I'm using here. So I'm just continuing to do the same thing, attaching a bead between each one, and then just continue this until you're able to wrap it around your neck. And then just to finish off the ends, I created an actual knot, slipped in a lobster clasp, and then I double knotted that. Once again, trim off the ends and you've got your second choker. Of course, either of the chokers can be worn by themselves or together. I love how this looks. So onto the outfit. I'm wearing a casual white button up with some dark denim and this light suede type of fringe jacket on top. To elongate the legs, I just wore some heeled black boots. And kind of a fun nod to the 70s vibe, I decided to also wear these round sunglasses. Of course, we've got both of our chokers on, our creation, and that is basically the outfit. For the next DIY or do-it-yourself, we're going to be making our own bejeweled headband. All you're going to need is some satin ribbon. I went with black, but you could use any color. Some headbands. I found those both at the dollar store. A hot glue gun, and then of course some kind of beads or jewels of your choice. I decided to use these earrings that kind of hurt my ears after some time. So I thought, why not repurpose them instead of just letting them sit there and collect dust? So all you're going to literally do is use a hot glue gun, apply some to the bottom there, and then start wrapping the ribbon all along the headband, going in an upward motion. 
if you can actually kind of go more diagonal than I did. I kept it really tight for some reason, but basically all I'm doing now is just applying some more hot glue every couple or so inches just to reinforce it and make sure it's nice and secure. And you just want to continue wrapping it around until you reach the end. Pretty straightforward. I'm just taking the earring backing off of the earrings and then I'm going to position it to see how I would like it on the headband. Hot glue it down and then you are done. So easy. Just like the chokers, this headband could be worn so many different ways, but I decided to go with kind of a cute holiday winter outfit. So I have this light sweater with white pom-poms on it, too cute. I paired it with this burgundy suede-like type of skirt, as well as these dark gray knee-high boots. I'm just obsessed with the look. I think the headband just gives it that extra bit of sparkle. It's just perfect. Lastly, I'm gonna show you what you can do to repurpose your cards after the holidays by making a phone cover. And I had so many cute ones to choose from, but I decided to go with this one because I feel like it's nice and simple and will go with just about everything. All you're going to need is a clear phone case, a stencil to make your life a lot easier, a pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife to be extra precise, some tape, and a pencil. Lay out your card flat, and what you're gonna do is grab the clear phone case and just position it over the design until you like how it looks. Go ahead and make some markings so you know where to place your stencil. Tape that down, and yep, you guessed it, we're gonna cut that out. And then once you've done that, go ahead and slip it in your phone cover and see if that fits properly. It should. And then you're going to trace out the camera hole so that you can cut this out. This is where the X-Acto knife comes in. You want to use something with a straight edge to make it easier. You could use like a ruler or just anything like that. So I'm just scoring the flat sides first because that's kind of the easiest part and really want to put down some constant pressure. And then for the curves, I'm just holding it like a pen or pencil and really just being patient and taking my time carving out the curves. After a while, you'll be able to pop it out and you've got your case. So I'm actually just switching out my cover, which is a different card from their collection and just changing it to this holiday themed one. And yes, we did cut out the word snow, but cause there are the snowflakes on there, it's sort of implied. I thought that was cute. You guys got it, right? Tell me you did. For the look, I'm wearing this teal button up. It has been an incredibly warm winter so far, by the way, where I live. Paired it with my white denim, once again threw on those knee high boots that I love and a light gray beanie, a lightweight white scarf. And that is the look. So that about wraps it up. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Let me know which DIYs were your favorite and which ones you are going to try out. And when you do try them out, do share it with me just hashtagging XTainer. That's three E's in the middle. A big thank you to Hallmark Signature for partnering with me on this. They have an Instagram, go check it out. And also check out their website where they show you all of their different new arrivals. They have all different kinds of cards, not just holiday ones, but their holiday ones are so, so pretty. I was like excited when I got them. So check it out. I'll have everything linked down below and I will see you all next time. Bye. Before you go, can we just talk about how my video is blown up on Hallmark's site right now? Please check it out. That would be awesome. And don't forget to follow me and subscribe. Love you. Bye.